Alright guys, I'm gonna try to make a video, but I got every animal trying to come in here. They know where I'm at. And they follow me around like you wouldn't believe, but... I just wanted to make one more YouTube video. Dogs and cats, y'all better get out of here. I got like, no room between my table and my car, but... in the warmer weather it warms up a lot quicker she quiets down pretty quick anyway this is my 2022 WRX I tried my best to mod the living day crap out of her. Now, I get on subimods.com. Now, there's a couple of other websites too. But I have pretty much cherry picked subimods.com out of everything I can pretty much buy for this thing. <coughs> And that really comes from the passion I feel for my car. And uh, I wish I had more money to buy more stuff, but Lord knows I don't at the moment. But I just really want everyone to know that, dude, you can make it happen. I know if I can do what I've done, and now this is a lot more than I've ever done to anything. Well, any car, anyway. But be proud of it. Right now we're at, oh, okay, 1,276. That's the odometer. There's the car programmer for you guys wanting to get one of these bad boys. So what it looks like, I'm probably gonna end up getting the red uh, faceplate cover for it. Now I haven't done any interior upgrades at all, which I'll work on that, but right now I'm more focused on performance and uh, exterior. And now these these are Motec wheels, like Motecs. Uh, I got these wheels for twelve hundred bucks, guys, twelve hundred dollars. And the grams weighed like I think twenty three pounds, and these were twenty six pounds. And the grams, they wanted thirty five hundred just for the wheels. So like, I was looking at weight per cost, I guess. And uh, the reason I like these wheels is because they match the blue on my tips and the blue of the Subaru emblem. So I went with these. And I like them. They're growing on me. Now, of course, like all of us, I have lots of future plans for this car. Lots. And... Uh, you know, I like sharing the dream with everybody, like, 
you know, I'm nowhere near where I'm going to be a year from now. But, hey, I think in my first year of ownership, with under 1,300 miles on this thing, like, I've done, I've done okay. You know, I've done okay. And, uh, you know, I just really feel like there's a lot of passion that comes from these cars. Like, if you own one, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you'll be going to bed at night thinking about, man, I gotta get this for my car. Man, I, I gotta try to get that for my car. And I'm one of the worst ones about it, I think. I really am. But I absolutely love this car, the new 2022 WRX. I think the 2024s are already out, but same dang car. Uh, I gotta research how to take this, this little duck, or whatever they call this spoiler off of it, because uh, I think my next check I'm gonna order that carbon fiber spoiler. Cause I need it that and that and that'll be you know that's close to that's five hundred dollars right there just for that spoiler and that little thing they want ninety nine dollars just for that in carbon fiber so that'll be my budget spent for next week uh, I really want to work on carbon fiber stuff after I'm done with the engine mods you know Because I'm not going to tell you what, like, my car is red, okay? But I really think carbon fiber, I don't care what color the WRX is in, I really think carbon fiber is going to stick out on your car a lot. Because it does look good. You know, it gives it a little bit of a, you know, like a, how do you explain it? Like a shade difference? I don't know. Just more things for your eyes to look at. And... There again, you know, I've been debating on the car whole carbon fiber hood or just the hood scoop. But the more I think about it, I think it's going to be the entire carbon fiber hood because the carbon fiber hood has these pretty aggressive inlets that go through the hood. Now I've heard that the carbon fiber hood actually weighs more than the stock hood. But who cares? You're trying to make it look good and, you know, like, I'm pretty serious about it. Like, I'm even taking days off work with no pay just so I can go to car shows and stuff. And I got one on Sunday. I'm really looking forward to it. And for me, I think the funnest thing is popping your hood because every guy you know, we're guys, man. I mean, and ladies that are into cars or whatever. But they want you to pop your hood. What you got under that hood, you know? That's what it's all about. And I, I think the better it looks underneath your hood... Work under your hood first, okay? I mean, that's just me, but, you know, get underneath the hood looking right. Then you can do all the extra stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. Who cares if it looks stock on the outside? All that matters, man, is what's underneath here. But I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed with the new WRX. These things handle great stock, okay? Now, my daily driver's an 08 smart car. I get it. Like, that car, slow as slow as molasses it's slow but when i get in this thing man I, I really feel like i'm driving a true machine now i'm trying to be as polite as i can as i'm talking like you know half the time i cuss like a sailor but that's only around my friends and family but i probably sound like a dweeb half the time talking on here but that's all right i don't care i have respect but, these cars, 
are fantastic guys like and if y'all own one more props to you look what you own look what you got in your driveway look what you start to look what you start the engine of every single morning and the ones you know are dreaming about and you guys want one of these it's coming it's coming to you man it will be in your future create your own reality you got it you already know keep thinking about it it will happen anyway enough talk let's do a rev up Yeah, my neighbor. Oh, I smell fuel. It smells good. But anyway, I hope y'all are doing great. I just wanted to make another YouTube video because my dogs were fighting with the dog next door and I had to stop my video and But, you know, I think for a normal dude like myself, like, I'm getting my engine bay fixed up pretty good, and I can't wait till my other parts come in. You know, I'm really glad I went with the Cusco. I do like the blue because my, my rims are blue. And I like the fact that the Cusco strut bar goes across the front of the intercooler unlike the parent in the back. Now I, I originally wanted the parent strut bar but I'm glad. I really am because like this sucker has so much room I don't have to worry about engine flex or anything you know. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting the, the back strut bar on and my engine strouds, like, and all that kind of stuff. My next video will be probably me unboxing them and showing them off or whatever. And then the video after that will be me putting them on. Actually, no. No, 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 no. I got a car show on Sunday. So I'm going to do another car show video. And then, uh... Well, let's see here. Actually, I think I'm fibbing again. Uh, I think I might get the car parts before the car show, so. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, guys, but. Hey, remember, WRX, the new body style, these cars are sick as heck. All-wheel drive, turbocharged. This one's a six-speed manual. And oh my god, is it fun to drive. This one's at 21.6 pounds of boost. Peak boost. And uh, sometimes, man, depending on the road, all four tires, all, oh my god, all four tires will spin out like under boost. So it's kind of cool. Now I know they're stock tires and uh, the rubber compound might be a little bit harder than something that's more of a drag tire but it is kind of cool to experience you know when I will drive under all boosts like peeling out all four tires after you've driven the car stock a few times because I only got 1300 miles on it but it is cool to experience and uh, to know it's mine I'm proud as heck of it I know you guys are proud of y'all's car too. Just keep going, keep building, $100 at a time, guys. $100 at a time. Keep saving it up. Because uh, you can make your own dream reality, and uh, this is my dream. It's becoming real. And uh, I'm really proud of it, and I like sharing it with all of you. 
who kind of share the same kind of dream for your own. I really hope I motivate some of you guys. Uh, you know, keep going, man. Keep going. I know all you guys work hard for what you got, so just know it's all on you. It's all on you. All right. Bye-bye.